How to make a pinch pot part two, trimming and decorating. First, we will prepare a handle for the cup. Roll out the clay like this. With a little water and a piece of chamois leather, smooth and stretch it out. Put pressure on the top and sides to create a rectangle. Do this for both sides. Bend it into a handle shape and leave it off to the side. Return to your cup to measure the depth and width. Measure the depth like this. Place the measurement to the side and make a marking. This shows how thick the base is. Measure the inside width to compare to the wheel. This will help you decide how much to trim away. Place the cup in the center of the wheel. Use pieces of clay to support. Do not push in too hard. We will create a base for the cup. We will make two lines. Spin the wheel and use the tool like this. Place both elbows on the table for support. Begin trimming the edges. Please remember the depth mark you made. Support the cup with your other hand and begin trimming. Hold the tool with your index finger. Be careful not to trim too much, otherwise you will create a hole. Trim little by little. Be careful not to cut away the line mark you made on the top. Recheck the thickness to see if it is even. Using the edge of the tool, you may create a foot for your cup. Smooth out the ridge moving downward. Complete any other trimming that is needed. Now trim the inside. Be careful not to go too deep. Using the rounded edge, further trim moving towards the center. Tidy the foot area. Now trim your edges. Do both the outside and the inside. Smooth out the edge. Trim your handle like this.
check the width is even. Decide where to place your handle. Make sure it is in a straight line. You can also make a straight line like this. You may then mark where the handle should be placed. Score any areas that are to be connected. Score the handle as well. Place slip on all these areas. Firmly attach the top part first. You may now smooth out the area. Handle sizes are approximately half the diameter of the cup. Decorative pieces may be added. Make sure to score and add slip to all additional pieces. You may also apply textural effects with different tools. Decorative handles may also be created. Add your name to the bottom if you wish.